And here we are in April of 2020. Not a good time for a lot of us. No three Bob. So here's a little chalk talk I prepared called Disaster Recovery Preparation. Yep, we have a disaster. We want to be able to push that disaster recovery button as soon as we possibly can to get things better back to where they should be. And it's not just us, it's everywhere thanks to this stupid COVID-19. We've got a worldwide crisis going on. It's horrible. So, you know, were you ready? Well, no, of course not. No one was ready for this. Came out of the blue. We had no idea. So, how do we feel? Well, flustered, frustrated, angry, scared, etc., 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 all kinds of feelings. There is, however, a road to recovery. It will happen if we take the proper steps and do things now that will get us back to normal as quickly as possible. Here are two options, buy lots of toilet paper or wear masks. Well, wearing a mask probably an okay thing to do. Buying all the toilet paper, well, you know, how much of that can you have in your garage anyway? So tell us about your crisis recovery plans. Well, you probably didn't have one because you didn't know you need one. Well, you're gonna get one now. We're gonna help you out with that. Yes, we are. Yep, yep, yep. And here's the main thing. The main thing is to get people to buy your stuff again when this is all over, or even during this particular, particular crisis time, some people can still buy some of your stuff. Yes, they can. But you want to be ready for things to get back to normal as soon as possible. And preparation is key. We got to start preparing for that now or it won't happen. We never want our short term problems to become long term permanent problems. No siree, no siree, no siree. You already know this, you understand this. Our decisions and choices made here during this period of time will define what happens to our businesses and to ourselves in the long run. This is always true, but it's so much more true now because the crisis that we're in, we got to bring it up and deal with it. There is a recovery process that has these steps in it. As assess, envision, plan, start, measure, revise, and keep going. I'll briefly describe each one of them. Assess simply means look around. What's been lost? How much money have you lost? How many customers and clients have you lost? How about losses in staff? Have you had to lay off people? That sort of thing. Then where must you get to as soon as possible? What can you envision being better? What's that vision of where you want to be in the next three, four, five months, six months, a year? You've got to get back to that. So you got to write that down. Where do you want to get to? And please never forget this. Cash is king in business. You got to find as much as you can and preserve it. Yes, yes, yes. The government has some policies that's supposed to help us out. Some of you have applied for some of this money. Some of you got some of this money. Some of you applied for it and have not gotten it. The money is the first round of money is now gone. The government may put in some more money. If they do apply for that, get all the cash you possibly can. And think of this strategy. You may have a line of credit at your bank. If you do, go get that money and take it out of your bank and put it into another bank. Why? Well, you're only going to have to use it for two, three, four months at the most. And interest on this three, four months is not going to be very much. But remember, learn this, know this. During the 2006 and 7 and 8 uh, recession we went through a few years back, a lot of banks removed people's lines of credit. They took them away. They vanished without the people who had them their permission because the banks thought they might need that money. So if you have a line of credit, use it up, get it out. You can always put it back later. Put it into another bank somewhere else. Make a plan with steps and a goal in mind. You've done this before. You're doing it all the time. And start the plan. Start your disaster recovery plan. Yeah, there you are rowing your boat in the desert. You got to start. Get going. Do some things. What kinds of things? This. Reach out. Connect to people. 
cooperate with people, talk to people, email people, email your customers, put stuff on Facebook, let people know you're still around, what's going on with you, ask what's going on with them, all these different kinds of ways to reaching out. This is very, very important. A lot of your competitors will not do this. If you do, you'll be head and shoulders against ahead of them when things get back to normal. Because you've got to build relationships. As our friend Dr. Eric Winterholm tells us, relationships are the key to business. We build them, we nourish them, we maintain them. So when all this is over, people remember us because we, we talked to them, spent time with them, sent them an article on something we found interesting that will maybe help them get through this crisis. Oh, my friend at such and such company sent me this article on vitamins. It was very helpful. Thank you. That kind of thing. Do a lot of that. Can't overdo that. Relationship building and nourishing activities will get us back to normal operation faster than anything else. Now, while you're doing reaching out, don't be trying to sell stuff to people necessarily. Maybe if it's an option for you, some us, for some of us, but mostly just reach out people, tell them what's going on with you, ask what's going on with them, and be supportive and nourishing. Measure the results, and again, they may not come in the form of cash right away, but they should when it starts to get better, when things start to get better. Then revise. If you've done these kind of reaching out activities, these kind of relationship building and nourishing activities, and they didn't work, well, don't do this anymore. Do some other ones. And if you have done these other ones that have worked, keep doing them more and more and more. And by all means, keep going. You can do this. You might look around at some of your competitors and see that they're failing in far worse situations. They'll never be able to recover. Well, perhaps it's a good time for you to buy them out or buy their customer list. You know, think about that. You might be able to make some of those moves. Likewise, if you have lots of inventory sitting around your shelves unused, it might be a good idea to get rid of some of that. Even if you get 10 cents on a dollar, it's better than nothing, and you create more space for other things. Or if you need to buy in bulk, and there's some good bargains around, go do that. Get bar bulk up on some of your stuff you might need. So how do you do all these things? How do you keep all this straight? Well, you make three lists. First list is your to-do list. Second list is your must-do, got to do these things, build relationships, keep in touch, send people emails, so call them up on the phone, and so on and so forth. And the third list is I will do today without interruptions. And if your business has slowed down, there's not as much going on, you're not going to have as many interruptions. You can definitely do what's in your will do today list. Right? Right. For victory to occur, doing the things on your today list is essential. And you can always ask yourself this question every morning and then answer it. If I am to be perfect today, what all must I do? Write that down, then go do just that. Think, plan, act. Think, plan, act. Make things happen. Yes. It takes commitments and accountability to make a game plan. We've done this before. We need to do it now more than ever. The main thing, again, is to get people to come back to buy your stuff again or to keep buying even under these conditions if there's some of them that are doing that for you. Don't just close up shop, put your head in the sand, and do nothing. Do this. Reach out. Connect. Be there for people. Let them be there for you. Support, encourage, nourish, and so forth. So what can you do right now? Make a list. Take some of these steps. Do some of these things. You can, you can, you can. And then you start that you're ready to be pushing that disaster recovery button. You're already pushing that disaster recovery button right now, every day that you do these things. You can do it. We can all do it. And we're here to help you. Yes, we are.